This video is a review of the polyatomic molecules chapter of the quantum chemistry and spectroscopy playlist. So we start by looking at hybrid orbitals. When we have something like BEH2, we want to have the valence orbitals of our central beryllium atom pointing out optimally towards our external uh, bonding atoms and also orthogonal to one another. So we do this through things, something called hybridization where for sp hybridization we add the 2s and 2pz orbital together to form two distinct orbitals one ar arranged towards one hydrogen and one towards the other these are 50 percent s and 50 percent p in character so they are labeled as sp hybrid orbitals for borane bh3 we have 120 degrees between each uh, hydrogen uh, between each bh bond in a trigonal planar arrangement so there we're including two p orbitals and an s orbital in our hybrid orbitals to give sp2 hybrids, which are one-third s in character and two-thirds p. Going to methane, we have a tetrahedral arrangement including all three of our p orbitals and a central s orbital, where we get an arrangement which is 25% s and 75% p for our sp3 hybrid orbitals. Hybridization can become more complex when we include lone pairs, things like ammonia or even water, changing the bond angle from the tetrahedral 109.5 down to 107.8 or 104.5 degrees, giving us orbitals which are either 77% p, sp3.3 orbitals, or 80% p, sp4.0 orbitals, giving us more and more p character as this bond angle approaches closer and closer to 90 degrees. We can represent how these different orbitals change their energy versus the some type of intramolecular parameter like a bond angle in Walsh diagrams where we explain that beryllium, beryllium H2 is linear and water is bent because of the change in the energies of these orbitals as the bond angle changes with the lowest energy arrangement for water at its its effective bond angle and the lowest energy for beryllium at linear due to the differing numbers of electrons occupying the diagram. We can then apply Huckel theory to cases of planar hydrocarbons which have pi systems, so sp2 hybridized orbitals. The other p orbital is participating in some kind of pi type system where if we have I equals J in our Hamiltonian matrix and a single isolated PZ orbital, that's given a label alpha. If we have two adjacent pi orbitals, or P orbitals, those are given the energy label beta, and those which are not adjacent are given a zero. This gives an energy of uh, C2H4, ethylene of E equals alpha plus or minus beta, where beta is approximately in minus 75 kilojoules per mole. We can look at conjugated systems like 1,3-butadiene and show that their energy is less than the energy of twice the pi system of ethylene due to this extra overlap and that extra beta factor we get for these two carbons located next to one another. And even more so, we observe this in uh, ar aromatic systems where things like benzene, which is circular, are even much lower than that of three times the energy of an isolated uh, pi bond due to this special stability occurring in aromatic uh, systems as predicted by Huckel theory. Links to each of the individual videos on the on-screen annotations as well as in the description.